Hey everyone, welcome to Taste Different Gaming Appetizers. And what's on the news appetizing appetizers tonight? Well, there's a lot of games, well not a lot, but there's some games coming out with next-gen upgrades that we were supposed to get this year, but it looks like 2024 is the year for next-gen upgrades, such as Fallout 4. So Bethesda announced last year that Fallout 4 would be receiving a free next-gen upgrade for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S in 2023. However, however, as this year comes to close, Bethesda has delayed the update to next year. Uh, they say, thank you for your patience with us as we work on the Fallout 4 next-gen update. We know you're excited, and so are we. But we need a bit more time and look forward to an exciting return of, to the Commonwealth in 2024. I mean, that's good. I, the thing about... I, I, I do like Fallout... Um, I do like Fallout as a game. I enjoyed Fallout 3. I enjoyed New Vegas 4. I didn't really care for too much. It was okay. So for me, I don't really care that they're doing a next gen upgrade. I mean, it's cool for the people that want to play it and everything like that. But, you know, for me personally, I'm not really interested in it. But it seems like a lot of people are moving their stuff off to 2024. 2024 is a busy year, especially the start of the year for games and all sorts of stuff. A lot of stuff is moving into 2024 and 2024 is going to be a crazy year for video games, I think. Um, I mean, it's already starting out strong. We were looking at games coming out and, and February is just packed to the brim with so many games. There's not going to be enough time. They're going to have to like put out all the games that they're going to put out in February and then just kind of stop for a couple months so we can all catch up on those before they start releasing new games. Uh, so it's insane. But if you're looking forward to the Fallout 4 next gen upgrade, you're going to have to wait till next year, which it's almost here. So they didn't say specifically when in 2024, but I would assume probably towards the beginning of the 2024, uh, 2024 year, if I were to guess. Um, also, Spider-Man 2 uh, is getting a new game plus audio descriptions and stuff like that. And they've also delayed their upgrade to next year. So they say, hey, webheads, we have some news about the next gen update or next game update for Marvel Spider-Man 2. We all know players have been eagerly awaiting features such as New Game Plus and audio descriptions, among many more. We have been working uh, vigilantly. I, I know I said that wrong. On these features and require more testing to ensure the quality of our uh, or up to our standards. Uh, we are now targeting early 2024 for the next gen update and we'll have a feature complete list closer to its release. We've heard your feedback and we'll be adding some highly requested features, including the ability to change the time of day, swap tendril colors, and replay missions, just to name a few. We can't wait to share more with you in the future. In the meantime, we appreciate your patience as our team works to finish the next update for Spider-Man 2. So again, it sounds like this was going to come out this year, but they had to move it on to next year. Again, like I said, lots of stuff moving on to the next year. So you got Fallout 4 next gen upgrade to look forward to. You got Spider-Man 2 with a bunch of quality of life. Um changes and, uh, and and features coming to the game and there's just a ton of stuff coming next year luckily luckily uh god of war ragnarok came out with their valhalla dlc and that one did come out this year <laughs> it came out the night of the game awards so that's good that that didn't get pushed to next year because then you would have a i mean you would have a lot of stuff to play but man you got to kind of spread that stuff out a bit uh, even, uh, Starfield, you know, is, is working on, um, updates as well. And they, they say that, uh, you can expect, uh, a rollout of fixes and updates roughly every six weeks. Although if something can be corrected with a hot fix, it may launch in between those six week waits. So they're doing stuff like working on things like uh, quest fixes, hot fixes, uh, mod support, city maps, all new ways to travel. So we talk about buggies and stuff, maybe. Um, 
some other way of traveling, but they're looking at basically roughly uh, updates and fixes roughly every six weeks. So every six weeks, they're expecting a big update that does fixes or adds in quality of life uh, improvements to the game. Like I said, such as city maps and mod support and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, they say, though we fix several quest issues from occurring in-game progress, quest fixes are much harder to fix. And we've built a new system to correct those without having to roll back your save. So that's good. So, you know, um, the whole point of it is like, it's nice to see all these developers continuing to support their games, especially going into the next year. And even with Bethesda, with a double whammy with Fallout 4 and then Starfield. Of course, we knew Starfield was going to continue to get support and upgrades, but they really are wanting to nail down and and keep, you know, keep the progression of the game because Todd Howard, you know, wants Starfield to be like Skyrim in that sense where it can go on throughout the ages, right? Where from, you know, 20 years down the line or however long people are still playing Starfield like they are with Skyrim, right? I don't think Skyrim's quite 20 years old, is it? I don't think so. Skyrim release date. When did that come out? It came out in 2011. So, um, yeah, uh, not, not quite not even close to 20 years old, but uh, getting there, getting there. So, um, they, you know, Bethesda wants Starfield to follow in the footsteps of Skyrim. I don't know if it will or not, uh, truthfully, but we'll have to see. Um, with these updates, new modes of travel, right? Because getting on a planet and having to run around all the way, everywhere kind of sucks. Like give us a rover or something like that on the planet or new, new ways to travel. Um, you know, let, let people fly. Uh, I know you can fly from planet to planet, but you know, it's not quite the same. Um, if it was more like no man's sky where you could fly into the planet and land and then fly out. Right. That would be cool. But I don't think they're going to do that, but they might, maybe they will do something like that. But um, this is good. This is good to see all these developers continue to work on these great games and progress them and add new features and continue to work on them after they've released. We got a lot of stuff to look forward to with new games coming out in 2024, as well as current games that are out now having quality of life updates in the next year that are going to allow those games to continue to progress and be played and enjoyed by the gaming masses, even in 2024, when we're flooded with a bunch of other games. So, you know, that's all good. Uh, looking forward to individuals being able to enjoy and, or continue to enjoy these games with new features and, and enhancements and hot fixes and, and, and uh, bug squashes and all that good stuff uh, going into the next year. And especially with Fallout 4, getting a next gen upgrade that'll look, you know, make the game look really nice and maybe pump some more uh, 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 play time into, into that game, you know, reinvigorate the game. Because uh, that happens a lot when games do upgrades and things like that. It puts uh, puts a lot of interest in them in the community. And the community are like, hey, cool. You know, I'm, I'm going to go check out that game again because, um, you know, now it's got a new coat of paint on it. And, and I want to go check it out. And then they they get kind of sucked into the game and, and lost and they start enjoying it. Right. And then maybe those that... Uh, didn't quite like Starfield or, or found Starfield to be an all right game. You know, once they start pumping out those updates, it might be something they can go back to and be like, you know what, this game ain't too bad now, right? Now that they've added these quality of life things. And for uh, Spider-Man, you know, for those individuals that have already beaten the game, you got New Game Plus to look forward to and uh, being able to c customize your characters more with the tentacle colors and various other things that they're going to add into the game. So it just gives more longevity and more, uh, content for you to consume in uh, these games, which is great, you know. Um, so yeah, so I mean that's uh, that's pretty much it, you know. Just looking forward to uh, 
look forward to those things, right? Look forward to those en- enhancements. Uh, I like when games d- do things like that, you know, continue to uh, make their games better and work on them, right? As, as long as they're not completely broken at launch. Um, but, you know, in the case of like uh, uh, Cyberpunk's a good example, right? Now, Cyberpunk was a little bit broken on launch, but, uh, well, quite a bit. Uh, it was missing a lot of things <laughs> that should have been in there. And a lot of things weren't quite, you know, uh, working as expected. But now, you know, Cyberpunk, if you haven't played Cyberpunk, I would say now the way that Cyberpunk is today, especially with the Phantom Liberty DLC, I would say go pick it up today and play. It is a fantastic game. I enjoyed it back when it came out. I enjoyed the story. I thought it was a really good game. I saw a lot of potential in it, but it did have a lot of things that it needed to fix. And they have fixed those and enhanced even further. And so I think the game now is fully feature complete and it's a great game. Sucks it took so long for them to get it that way, but now it is. And now I would definitely recommend it to anybody that wants to go and play it. So, you know, that could have the same effect for for uh these games too, you know, like I said, I, I don't know how well Fallout 4 did for everybody or even Skyrim did for everybody. Like I said, Fallout 4, I wasn't my favorite. It was an okay game. Skyrim, or I'm sorry, not Skyrim, but uh, Starfield was the same for me. I thought it was an all right game, but, you know, still needed a lot of, there was a lot of things I didn't like about it. There's some things I liked and some things I didn't. So it was very mixed for me. Um, same thing with fallout four was very mixed for me. So if they could fix and enhance these things and add new quality of life and new features to these games, breathe new life into them and bring in a community, you know, and, and allow these games to, to live on throughout the years, hopefully not as long as Skyrim. We don't need a star filled, version alpha mega number two volume three on uh you know the xbox series x x and the playstation 6 but you know we might end up getting that hopefully not (laughs) hopefully we'll get elder scroll 6 and then elder scroll 6 will be great and we'll go from there but we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about some of the uh, you know features coming out to s- some games uh, that you may be playing today, and, and when to expect those. A lot of I think uh, those features were going to come out this year, but you know they've been pushed into the next year, which it's almost the next year anyway. Seeing so it much longer to wait, and there's a lot of games coming out and a lot of enhancements to, to to current games. So good good year to be a gamer, especially in 2024. <coughs> Excuse me. Anywho, let us know down in the comments below. Are you playing any of these games? Are you looking forward to these enhancements and these uh, fixes and changes? Uh, let us know down in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. If not already, do us a favor. Help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.